Hi, I am Abhinav Singh from India and I will be presenting about the modulation of a spinal reflex pathway for treatment of bladder overactivity in patients with a spinal cord injury by surface stimulation of the sole of the foot. This study has no financial ties with any of the business organization. This study was supported by the Institutional Review Board of the Christian Medical College. Aim of this study was to study the therapeutic effect of electrical stimulation of TBL nerve at the sole of foot in modulating a spinal reflex pathway for reducing the retrosor overactivity in patients with a spinal cord injury. Objective was to study the effect of electrical stimulation of the medial branch of the TBL nerve on the retrosor activities. The parameters through which the retrosor activity were observed were the system metrogram and the voiding diary system metrogram. The parameters included reflex volume, detrusor pressure, and the systematic capacity. For voiding diary, clean intermittent catheterization volume which was maximum as well as total per day and frequency of clean intermittent catheterization, frequency of leaks, and total fluid intakes per day were monitored. Inclusion criteria for this study were patients with a spinal cord injury or who were on clean catheter intermittent catheterization at least one leak per day, CMG proven detrusor overactivity, ankle jerks present, and the age of 18 years and above. Exclusion criteria were those patients who had presence of uh, peripheral neuropathy, urinary tract infection, pregnancy, or any psychiatric ailment, stress leaks, implantable devices in the body. Spinal cord injury patients with urinary incontinence and who satisfied inclusion and exclusion criteria were invited for the study. They were told to maintain a bladder diary for seven days. After seven days, system metrogram was done. If system metrogram showed detrusor overactivity, then those patients were given electrical stimulations for two weeks. And at the end of the two weeks, the system metrogram was repeated again. System metrogram and bladder diary was then analyzed. The parameters for electrical stimulations were frequency of 20 Hz, amplitude of 10 mA to 80 mA, pulse width of 200 microsecond, duration was half an hour daily. The cathode was placed at the site of the medial plant nerve and the difference distance between the cathode and anode was about 2 cm which was placed at the metatarsophalangeal joint. 20 patients were recruited for this study out of which 3 were female and rest were male. Median age was 35 years, which ranged from 22 years to 59 years. Duration of injury ranged from 9 months to 11 years. 10 patients had incomplete injury and 10 had complete injury. Cause for injury, 12 were traumatic and 8 were non-traumatic. Neurological level of injury, C6 to T3 were 3 subjects. T4 to T10 were 16, which was majority. And T11 to L3 was 1 subject. Widening diary data was analyzed on the basis of binomial distribution test in which 90% so subjects showed improvement. However, 2 out of 20 did not show any improvement. A reflex volume 12 patients showed increase in the reflex volume. 6 showed decrease. 2 did not show any significant change. Wilcoxon signed rank test. The p-value was found to be 0 0.13 which was not significant. Systematic capacity of 14 patients showed improvement, 3 did not show much of improvement, 3 showed reduction. Wilcoxon signed rank test for the p-value was found to be significant. Maximum detrusor pressure for 13 subjects had reduction, 3 had increase and 4 had no significant change. Wilcoxon signed rank test showed a significant p-value. Limitations for this study was that it is a pilot study with a sample size of 20. Its efficiency cannot be compared with the standard treatment. For comparison with the standard treatment, large sample size is needed. Long-term effect of the treatment needs to be followed. Take-home message from this study is neuromodulation by surface electrical stimulation at the sole of the foot is simple. It is non-pharmacological, non-invasive, inexpensive. And it is a promising alternative adjuvant treatment modality for reducing the debt to serve activities. If any, there are any questions or any suggestions for this study, it is always welcome. And it can be sent to my mail or it, my details are available on the ICS member directory. Thank you.